blessed that his exploded to some degree um, with a rather large sort of fireball that's engulfed both casualties in flames. Both have burned to their faces and their hands. The location is an industrial facility specialising in the disposal of hazardous waste. The casualties are being looked after by paramedics in the staff canteen. Hello. Hello. They're 52-year-old Paul and 26-year-old Jay. Jay. Okay, Paul and Jay were both working on a forklift in a different unit. As they've turned it on, there's been a big bang. Yeah. The fireball has come out. Just the fireball. Okay. And it's Fine. taken both Jay and Paul. Okay. Both patients have partial thickness burns. These are intensely painful and will later swell up and significantly blister. A strong painkiller such as morphine is needed. Now, do you think you're going to be able to walk to the truck? Yeah. Right, just go steadily, OK? Because yeah, be right, um, I have given you some painkiller, all right? We'll get you out. There you go. Large doses of morphine can leave some people unsteady on their feet. That's it. Watch the step. The team is preparing to leave for hospital. That's yes. fire. That's, and yeah. that is what's in those vats. When some new and potentially worrying information comes to light. But this was right next to the forklift. Chemical. OK. Vats of chemicals positioned next to the forklift may also have been disturbed in the explosion. How is the pain? Is it getting any easier? No, I've got really low No, it's still really painful. OK. Although the burns won't visibly blister for some time, 26-year-old Jay is seriously injured on his face, hands and knees. It now seems that barrels which were near the forklift contain a volatile chemical. Fire have just looked in their top space and apparently they act, react quite violently with water and, it, well, anything, actually. They're just really quite toxic. If he's got inhalational burns, yeah. we just don't know, so... If any of the substance was caught up in the blast, Paul and Jay could have inhaled toxic fumes. OK, shall we start moving? Yeah. yeah. Katie and Karen want to get them to hospital as quickly as possible. So, well, what, which one of you was in the fortnight? None of us. None of us. The 20-minute drive is an opportunity for Dr Katie and Karen to understand more about the incident. When the, when the forklift went up, did it did it take those barrels with them as well, then? Or? I don't know. All I saw was flames just round the forklift, just like expanding from the forklift by the ball of flames. The men don't know what caused the fireball, but fortunately, neither Paul nor Jay are experiencing difficulty breathing. Okay. Paul and Jay have arrived safely in Birmingham where a specialist burns team will take over their care. Although the, those gentlemen were um, dealing with it very well, they were having a lot of chat and banter together and keeping each other's spirits up, actually they are both quite significantly injured. They'll probably need significant ongoing care um, here at the specialist burns hospital. Oh, mate. Hello, how are you How's doing? Going, Good to see you. Oh, right. oh you're looking, looking well. Yeah. yeah, and you? It was scary. The pain was, was horrific. The burns went through different stages. We went from a scabby face, and then we just went, all of a sudden, our faces just swole up. And you looked at your pillow, and it was like, there was like... Oh, grease and yeah, stuff on your pillow and pus. I've pretty much made a full recovery.